Today's very important thing that we need to do is to get a handle on the dust situation. There's just a ton of dust because we've got a lot of dust making uh, <laughs> craftsmen. Their, their crafts require dust and ours requires no dust. So we need to put up a barrier between us and them. We're gonna frame it up with this and our fantastic carpentry skills. You and then, saw. Hmm. It'll be great, it'll be great, let's go. This has been on Jade's wish list, I think since we got married. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been wanting a staple gun forever. I feel like I've probably mentioned it before. Probably. But we've never had a reason for one until now. So I'm thinking we frame it up with some sort of frame. First things, first things first is determining how much plastic we have because that will determine how big we can make this. That's probably so loud. <laughs> That'll be just fine. Okay, so now we're done. And I'm gonna use my staple gun. Those words probably didn't actually sound like words. I said, and I'm going to use my staple gun with excitement and a little bit of pizzazz. Our actual exhibition No, this will hold our thingy. This, this is our arch. Our this exhibition is... enclosure is going to be super rugged. I'm... No, that's good. No, no, no. This is it's a dynamic enclosure. It, it changes to fit the needs. Yeah, that's better. That's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know Brett used to play hacky sack? <laughs> so your history lesson on Brett today. <laughs> did you play hacky sack? Heck yeah, I'm I just did. making assumptions based on. Of course I did. <laughs> did I go to middle school? <laughs> like. Nice. That'll do it. That'll totally. got it all stapled for the frame that we've made. So now we're gonna stand the frame up and attempt to hold it up while we nail it in. And I think it should be okay. It's a lot of plastic though. Thoughts, Brett? I was actually thinking, you're right. One of us is gonna have to hold it. Well, yeah. Well, the other person nails, but we have to hold both sides at the same time. Do we have duct tape? Nope. I was like, oh, I wish we had a clamp. We do. We have a clamp? Yeah, look. Nice. Maybe like <laughs> we have one of our walls and part of our roof completed. <sighs> We're gonna move on to the next step, which is making the structure for the plastic to go for the forward wall. We need to work on our curb appeal. We're going to triangulate some of these pieces of wood and make like a... Ta-da! For example, now we're gonna do this a few more times. Here we go. Okay, right now we're just measuring, we're just measuring the width of our... Creation. You in here, Brett? Here you are. 152. One. Interesting length. It's four meters by three meters. Sweet. So it's supposed to be 12 feet. So it's just over 12 feet. It's not supposed to be 12 feet. It's supposed no. to be four meters. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's true, we probably don't ever have to worry about anybody stealing our... Somebody commented and said, oh, I would be so worried about your tools getting stolen. I'm like, I won't do them any good. Yeah. Because all of our tools are in 110, and everything here runs 220. Yeah, they don't be able to charge our power bills. Yeah. And then all measuring devices are inches. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> our things are safe. You brought a chaplain to the sword fight. You brought a dagger to the sword fight. <laughs> One hit. Close. That was close. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that made it to the other piece of wood. structure is complete and now we just have to stand it up. It's standing on its own. Don't touch it. <laughs> it's not the most structurally sound as it still wobbles. <laughs> hey. Hey. I think it's gonna work. This is actually pretty cool having everything, having this here makes it feel, step out here. Having it like this makes it feel like real. Like, okay, we're really doing this and it's really go time. All we need to do next is just bring, bring these out. Once we have more plastic, we'll secure it up there and then that's it, and then just go. There's all pl more plastic on the sides and on the front, so that way we're basically completely closed in. And I think we're done for the night. taking advantage of being in the city by rock climbing in a rock gym. It's one of our favorite things that we used to do back when we used to live in a city before we sailed. I mean, it's really one of my favorite things. I'm really, I'm really stoked about this opportunity. When we first get here, we usually do a few easy routes just to warm up. So Brett right now is climbing an easy one. Gonna warm up his shoulders, stretch, or like hang from the wall a little bit. Nicely done. Life seems to always be a trade-off of some sort. To have something, you have to let something else go. And of all the many, many, many city things that we've let go of in order to pursue a life of sailing remote places, the thing I've missed the most is rock climbing. Specifically, rock climbing at a rock gym. As a person who despises exercise for the sake of exercise, it's a really fun way to strengthen and care for my body without it feeling like exercise, I guess. And it's more than that because it isn't just the physical challenge, it's also presenting problem solving for the mind. And this makes it where rock climbing can capture my complete focus and still my thoughts. And that feeling for me is unparalleled. I think it provides me with what a lot of others are finding in meditation. And since I start squirming at the mere mention of meditation, it's good I found a more enjoyable alternative. And aside from how it's good for my body and my mind, I think it's also just really good for my soul. And before I get too sappy and go on and on too much, I'll just cut right to the heart of it, which is that it just makes me happy. So I suppose even if all of the other things were null and void, I would still want to be here doing this. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we're at the rock gym and they have a little like coffee shop office space and so we're here planning out the next week and projects and 
channels. Trying Two channels. Out. Trying to figure out where everything goes time-wise, channel-wise, SD card, space-wise. Yep. For the first time in our vlogging career, we now have enough cameras. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. We have enough cameras now. Finally. So this one, so this is... Make from your channel. You have a mansion. First an airplane. Horses. Obviously, you have to build the airplane to right. make them move. Right, 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 exactly. Cutting the film, so this is going to be... We are back at it in the tent. We just got here. Right at the same time as our food order. Takeout, guys. How fabulous is that? They don't have that in the Ragged Islands. Delivery? <laughs> I got the good. All sorts of good stuff tonight. So what's cool is that these are all included with our membership, so we can just borrow the tool. First things first, we need to finish our enclosure. Our, our expedition tent. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just getting these out of the way for now, and then we'll get this built. And then we can start on the arch. There's so many like this, and then we can do the arch. Okay, side quest. Side, side <laughs> quest. <laughs> we need coffee. <laughs> okay. We had some new, some new tarts delivered. So let's go. So we're just gonna very gently try to pull it out and finish tarping it and see if it collapses. <laughs> Should tip over? Yeah, the sound does not carry well in here. We now have a little more headroom. We were able to pull the these forward legs forward, but it's causing this rear main beam, this bulkhead here, is buckling a little under the load. Like we're on Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> um, but it's it's working for now. It's going to be okay. We weren't able to mount it into the wall, so it's just going to have to make do. But this is enough room. I mean, if, if this is all it was, it would be okay. A little claustrophobic, if I'm being honest, but uh, not for Jade. I feel cozy. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Next up is we need some walls. Like, finish work, yeah. But I think it'll work. It's a very good amount of let's get this done as quickly as possible so we can do the fun stuff. Yeah, exactly. We got the two side walls up, the rear wall up, and we just made the decision that we should probably frame it in a little bit more. So just, just a bit, it, this works, but it's, it's just a little flimsier than we really want. It's just a little might collapse. Just, just a little bit might collapse and suffocate us. <laughs> And so, and so I think what we're gonna attempt is to frame it in a little more. Brett is going to try to, to nail this in. I can't, but I can't push it all. <laughs> oh, I don't hold the chair. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the way the plastic, you know, just blows in the wind of your hammer throws. You're basically Thor. I am. Should I let my hair down? Yeah. Does that mean I'm Lady Thor? What was that? What was that character? Are you thinking Loki? No. Oh, like his her, sister. Her, no, his girlfriend from the first movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Jane. Nice. That looks great. That looks pretty good. Okay, keep going. Okay. I just came up with this contraption. I used the saw. We have a saw and cut little notches. Wait, wait, wait. Do that again. It didn't focus. That's what a notch is. Cut little notches and it's going to go up here. I'll show you. Fantastic. Nice. Look at how huge it is now. That's actually pretty great. This will be perfect. This. And one of the best things about this is it's going to keep the heat in. Yeah, stepping in just this five feet that I just stepped, it is significantly warmer. I'm just take one of the three pairs of pants I'm wearing. Hey, I'm in short sleeves. One of the three pairs of pants you're wearing? Does that include underpants? I guess they're all underpants under that one. I guess so. Oh, wow, this is great. Okay, should we put a front on it? We should. To your door. Ta da! It's like a creepy shower curtain. <laughs> It is like a creepy shower curtain. The door's done. We just finished up the door, which means we have now finished up the whole tent. The whole expedition, expedition tent. greenhouse. Expedition greenhouse is complete. It's actually perfect and it's gonna be the perfect spot to do this build. Brett, will you show them the door? Yes. I'm actually feeling pretty clever here. I realize this is such a simple thing, but but it's gonna work. Totally. Yeah, so I think we'll do this as soon as we come, we'll just open this up. And right. then we'll just leave it open for you know fumes and everything. Ta-da! That's so cool. Yeah. It was actually a nice big door so we can get stuff in and out and get us in and out easily. Would you guys like to see the inside? Here's our tent. Ta-da. This is where we're going to be spending a lot of our time. Yep. Upcoming. And I think we'll end up building a rack or something to hold all of the, the foam and the fiberglass and everything so we can just dispense it easily and get to work. And get That's the project it. done as quickly yeah. as possible. This is it's go time. We've done the hard stuff. We've done the stuff that is time consuming and non-glorious and I wouldn't say it's no fun, but it's less fun, which was like all the planning, all the ordering, all the sourcing, all the engineering, all the working with the engineers, getting the supplies, building the enclosure. All of the prep work is done. The prep work is like this much. This yeah, is stuff like that 80 percent. we're done there. Now, We've got like this much left and then we'll have an arch. Yeah, just the hard part or the easy part, I mean, no. The fun part, definitely. Definitely the fun part. I was super happy with how it turned out. It turned out way better than I was expecting and it's gonna be perfect for fiberglassing and for moving on with the project. Yep. We are done with the tent. But we are not done for the night. We have a lot more going on tonight. We are about to- It's only 11 o'clock. The night has just begun. The night is young, especially in Spain. Right? <laughs> yeah. So we are going to be moving on now and we're gonna start cutting up and building our frame for the arch. But we have decided, after much deliberation the last couple of days, we've decided that we are going to be filming and editing and completing and showing and documenting and whatever. We're doing the build videos on our new channel, on Brett's channel, 
expedition engineering. We've kind of realized that we've got these two areas of our lives, these two parts of who we are as people. One is that we're adventurers and we're travelers, and the other is that we're builders and we're makers. So having two separate spaces that can really capture those two sides of what we're doing, I think it's gonna be great. So here at Expedition Evans, we'll continue on as we have been doing. We're sailing, we wanna show you Barcelona, we wanna show you our dock, we wanna show you our beach. But the actual like detail of the build, the fiberglassing and the grinding, and that, that'll be on Expedition Engineering. This really like the, is gonna be the best of everything because yeah. now there's space for everything. There's space there for is. all of the adventures and there's space for all of the projects. We're excited, there. hopefully you are too. That's the end of this saga. So now we're gonna get started on like we the said, build. We're done with this video, we're done with the tent, but we are not done with the night. And music just oh. started, so I, I think we need to be done. Yeah, we do. Right, so today's today's the day we just published this video. We've also published the rest of the night, which is on exhibition engineering. So if you want to see what we're doing next, that video is already live. Yep. So go over and check it out. Thanks guys. Love Bye. you guys. Bye.